Today we're going to experiment a little bit with stabilizers this time and the reason why the reason why I want to do this is because the stabilizer though it is kind of humming and that really made me wonder why could a stabilizer hum can I get to the bottom of it can I find it out because to, I, I looked at this and the stabilizer there, there's not a there's not a drop of carbon so to speak out of place check this out I have a few other stabilizers from older models that I'm gonna cycle through and see how it goes and I'll, I'll switch it out. I'm always gonna be riding this with a one degree angle shim. So it should be like a zero angle then altogether. Uh, but that's a whole different story how that falls into place. So let's, let's try this out and cycle through different stabilizers and see if I can find something out. And I'll report back to you every time I find something new. All right. All right. So this is, I swear, this is the weirdest thing. This is the weirdest thing. And if you look at these two wings, so this is the V2. Now I'm going to put in the V1. So the first one, uh, both, uh, both 232 square centimeters. If you look, the older one is a little, has a little thicker uh, cord line there towards the end so that the, the, the new one is a little bit more higher aspect so now now let's mount the old one and go out real quick and see if something changed even though it doesn't affect your riding um, if a setup hums or if a stabilizer hums it sure it is annoying I tell you and it is loud I don't know if you guys can hear that um, there is a uh, we're gonna have a little clip of this so you guys can see maybe you can hear this but now, for now I'm gonna put on the old version and see what happens all right so I'll be right back all right so this is not what I was hoping that happened it also hums so one plus shim or one minus whatever and it hums I have a 1250 here today on an A plus fusion system just because it's kind of windy and I just changed out the old stabilizer uh, from the new one and it still hums. So both hum with a one plus or one with a one degree shim. So now I guess I'm going to take the shim out and see what happens then. And what is really annoying is there seems to be nothing wrong with the stabilizer because that old stabilizer does not hum on the old fuse and the 72 centimeter mast with the old system and shim. So why is it hum on this system? I, I don't know. I don't understand that gonna try to get to the bottom of it at the end of this video uh, who knows maybe it's gonna be two videos I don't know yet we'll have to see. all right so I'm starting to wonder maybe it's because the screws now are more flush with the edge here can you see guys see that some the screws here right here are more flush could could that be a reason why that is because the water when it comes over those holes we'll see we'll go to find it out so old stabilizer no shim uh, shim with the a plus system so let's go find this out put my stuff away and we're just getting in and out of the water here a thousand times all right guys take take a wild cast did that help you guessed right it did not it still hums so the shim is not it now i'm starting to wonder what else could it be is it is there somewhere with the screws are those screws somehow sticking out but I don't know. Let's let's try something else. I got one last hope here. I got also one of them flying V tails. All right. Now with the flying V tail and no hum at all. As silent as silent can be. So it can't be the screws or any kind of water flow along the fuselage transitioning over the wing. So now for the shits and giggles, I have here from a very long time ago. I chopped down a 323 wing uh, for surfing. So let's put this one on and see maybe there's something in the in the tips here. Maybe there's something in those tips. And let's try this one out. And then we cycled through every possible scenario. And I still don't know why the other two are humming. Here's the word. Four stabilizers, two hum and two don't hum. Uh, the two that, not are, that are not humming are the ones that have not as big of wing tips. I just did this one and boy it is squirrely and twirly this little one so if you want to do wave riding this one is going to be super cool so and not a hum not a beep not a hum not nothing so what did I learn today I don't know not a whole lot I, I'm trying to conclude this here so the two 
big 232 stabilizers non-chopped v1 and v2 both are humming shim or no shim and here's the kicker guys here's the absolute kicker because my daughter is actually riding this old version with a 72 centimeter mast and she has not complained once that her stabilizer or her setup is humming so next time uh, i'm out here we're gonna do the whole cycle through with the old system and see if anything is humming then this is the moment i've been waiting for now i'm sailing the v2 stabilizer on my old setup on an old version one 72 centimeter mast with the old shim so you guys can see that here this is the old setup this is how i sail and how i learn a wing the entire time just with an old stabilizer so that if this hums then we're going to go back to the old stabilizer and see if that is not humming and then i really don't know but let's let's just find out first and see how this is going because that's going to be a major question all right so on one hand i'm happy and i'm on the other one i'm not so happy i'm happy that it actually did hum on this setup because now i definitely can blame this on the wing if i did not hum then oh my gosh what then i would have been like crazy what are we gonna do so luckily it hummed and luckily luckily now i can start the next phase and we're going to show you this in just a second all right so i guess now i have no other choice than bringing out the sandpaper on the net note shout out Army Armstrong had a sanding paper and the guy from Levitas over in Austria. I was watching that on YouTube. So now I guess I'm gonna have to try that myself and start sanding and foiling and sanding and foiling and sanding until this bloody thing stops humming. How annoying. So let's hope this works. And they said in the videos put a 30 degree angle on each side and then round the thing off so i'm not quite sure if i'm going to be able to find a 30 degree angle here but hey feels pretty sharp to me here already so i use this with a 400 as they said and now i'm going to use a 600 and i got a sanding block here and then i guess i'm just going to go try this over and over until this thing won't until this thing won't hum anymore all right that back edge is pretty sharp so let's hope that works let's go try it out gee hoo guys i'm super stoked this thing is not humming anymore not a minute it's humming but boy it is also pretty sharp you probably could slice a tomato in half with here so i don't know if i might want to take that edge down a little bit or not but hey it's not humming so that's pretty cool and um, because i don't really like 72 centimeter masts i'm actually gonna pop the seven, the 85 centimeter mast on real quick just to be sure and just because i like better swinging with a longer mast all right guys so we're concluding this video here at the shop yes i was going out on my regular setup 85 centimeter mast with the new stabilizer and nothing hummed so we definitely get to blame the stabilizer on this whole problem the one answer i will probably never be able to find is why did my old stabilizer only hum on the 85 centimeter mast but not on the old mast with the old fuse and the old shim why did it only hum on the new setup i will probably never find that out and they're just gonna have to let that one go of course i had quite a few interesting conversations in the parking lot with other wingers and foilers and frankly what i learned is this humming situation is not all that uncommon i've never heard of anybody in my circle that had it but frankly it's not that uncommon other brands have it there's videos out there where everybody is sanding the trailing edge of their stabilizer which i did not find very intuitive because i was looking for for edges and irregularities in the fuselage or where the mass meets the fuselage with the screws where the water doesn't have a clear flow over the system with itself but frankly that's not it it is where the water is leaving the trailing edge of the stabilizer that is not very intuitive to me at all but so i was told and i learned over uh, the last few days is that 
in shipping propellers, there is something is called cavitation. And apparently when the pitch is not right on a shipping propeller, it can be creating some sort of a suction on the trailing edge on those propellers as they turn. It's kind of like a stabilizer going through the water, you know, they has a, a leading edge and a trailing edge. And frankly, that causes to bubbles to form and those bubbles burst and that can create a noise in shipping. So maybe that is something like this. Well, I am not a hydrodynamics engineer. I will never be one. I'm not aspiring to be one. So I guess I'll just have to leave it at that. A little bit of sanding just does the job. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next